Look at these pretty 12 point bolts holding exhaust on or extractors on, except for one. The one you can't do with a 12 point. Look at that. We're talking about these right here. But why is there a 6.1 here? <laughs> you know why? Because people buy fancy bolts, fancy, fancy bolts, but you can't get a ring spanner on this one because it's so close to the header. Your fancy bolts? Crap. Chuck that rocker cover on. Right, a couple of bolts. Hold it on. We've already done the other side. Look at these fancy 12 point bolts that Paul has in the extractors. Look at these. Like that's some really fancy stuff, man. All of them. Over here, in here. Hang on. What's going on here? This one's a six point. Paul, what happened? Oh, that's right. Chevy's. You gotta change this one. Oh, that's right. Fancy extractors don't allow you to put a ring spanner on this bolt. What happened there, Paul? That's the way they are. So I had to buy a complete another packet of uh, stainless steel header bolt. Get one. My buddy has bought a full set of these and a full set of these just for one bolt. So have you seen these? I might point out these valve cover gaskets are completely reusable. But they're like really expensive too. You know, my grandfather, he used to tell me, just put a whole heap of grease all over the cork ones, and that way you can reuse them all the time. And to this day, I still do the same thing and reuse my cork valve covers. It's got it. Oh, let me get it. Let me get it. Ooh, got it. Paul, what are you doing now? Spark plugs. When are we going to be able to do a burnout? You know I don't like it to lose the shed, Rob. That's right. See, this car, as beautiful as it is, sits under wraps, never goes out. It's never been out of the shed. Look, this is the back door of the shed. <laughs> There's no way you're out of here. We're just blocked in. Hey, if you've got this far, you can see that this thing's together. You know, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe to Garage Days. Yeah, next is putting these spark plugs in. Look at this. Yeah, they burn really nice. I wish they'd burn nice like that in my Trans Am. Where's that camera? They are burning so well. We're going to gap them up and chuck them in. I hope Paul's got the other four because there's only four here. <laughs> and look at this. He is. He's beat me to it. And for those that don't know how to gap a plug, um, we're looking at just on the 40 thou. We've got this tricky little tool and we can put it in. As you can see, we're in between 35 and 40 thou, which is good enough. But if you needed to, you can just bend that electrode, that little electrode there, and widen it up or narrow it if you need be but this is going to go in the car paul's busily working away on the opposite side getting them in the hard side so he tells you have you ever dropped the spark plug oh yeah have you smashed it oh yeah yeah i've done that too hopefully i don't smash any today have you got the other side done paul I've done my side, now I'm doing your side. Oh. 
rub it in. Now that all the plugs are in, tightened up, we're going to move into starting it. What's this here? They are some pretty cables, man. Yeah, only the best. Only the best. Check out these cables. Wow. I mean, the Optima battery is no big deal. I run them in my cars. Look at that. I'm impressed, buddy. Gee, I know nothing about cars, though. And I used to make wiring harnesses for Electroloom. Where are the keys, Paul? No idea. Well, I think we're done for the day, eh? Yeah. We did springs, we've done rockers, we've done the studs. <laughs> we've done the girdle. Yeah. And Paulie's done the lash. So um, it's time to start this thing. Let's kick it in the guts, eh? You think it's going to start? Well, I'm hoping it's going to start. 